Hello everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to the Queen Cuisine Cooking Channel. I hope everyone is doing okay. Today we are going to be looking at how to make the zucchini stew. So zucchini, as you may all know, is a versatile squash that is rich in vitamins and minerals. It offers special head benefits ranging from improved digestion. It also helps in, lower, uh, in lowering the risk of heart disease. It also known to help with bone health, thyroid and prostate. So today we are going to learn how to uh, go about making your zucchini stew. All right, so let's look at the ingredients to, that you need for your zucchini stew. So first and foremost, we need your zucchini. So today I'm going to use six zucchinis to make this stew. You will also need to have your tomatoes. So I'm using four tomatoes. I'm going to use peppers and I'm going to use the mini peppers. Uh, this is the bag right here. I'm going to use mini peppers. I'm going to use four of this and you will need your onion and of course the spicy pepper. You will need your olive oil. You will also need your shrimps. So I'm going to be using two bags of shrimps to prepare my zucchini. And for the sake of time, I've pretty much prepared everything. So, but I will walk you through what I did. You will also need your tomato paste or tomato sauce. And you will need your Maggi cube. I use no Maggi cube. For my spice, I'm going to use curry powder. I'm going to use black pepper, uh, salt to taste. I'm also going to be using butter as well. So let's get this started. So the first thing you want to do is I'm going to um, slice my zucchini, wash it off and slice it. Make sure it's really good, okay? Make sure it's clean. Okay, you have to wash your zucchini. Make sure it's washed really clean. And then I'm going to slice my zucchini. And when you are slicing it, make sure you're slicing it really thin. You don't want it to be too thick, right? Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and do hit on the notification bell so each time I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. And please, like I mentioned earlier, this channel is going to be used to uh, show uh, people how to prepare African delicacies and other delicacies as well. It's not just restricted to African. And if you have anything or any dish you want me to show you on this channel, please go ahead and drop it in the comment section as well. Okay, so this is my zucchini. Uh, uh, just because of time, I have pretty much sliced everything on here. So I just wanted to show you how to cut the zucchini. So you have to make sure it's really thin. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to turn on the heat and I'm going to measure uh, about, this is half cup. So I'm going to use half a cup of oil because we are also going to add uh, butter, okay? This is my olive oil, just half a cup. going to bring the oil to boil okay so as the oil is heating up you have to I'm going to wash my tomatoes like I mentioned we're making zucchini stew today so the tomatoes I'm using four tomatoes I'm using one onion and then I'm using four pieces of um, mini peppers and then I'm using one spicy pepper so I'm going to wash this and chop it up so um for the sake to avoid taking much time, I've already sliced my tomatoes, my onion, and my pepper. So if you see, this is my tomatoes already sliced up, and this is my onion, and this is my pepper, the hot spicy peppers, and this is the four mini uh, peppers. So I already have those sliced up, and like I mentioned earlier before this call, uh, I kind of 
uh, spoke to the benefits of having zucchini. So I mentioned that zucchini had a lot of vitamins and minerals that can offer you great head benefits, especially with your digestion. It also helps eliminate, the, uh, reduce the risk of heart disease. And it's, it's also known to help with bone health, thyroid, and prostate. So uh, without much time, we're going to check my oil now without wasting much time. So you need to make sure the oil is hot enough. So what we did was to add one cup of oil to my pan. I'm just going to bring it to heat, to boil. So once it's hot, I'm going to add my onion, okay? Now I'm going to add my onion to my oil. fry that all for like five minutes and one thing I want to say is you don't have to use a very high heat medium heat is good to make this meal and zucchini stew can be used for a lot of food you can use it for your rice you can use it for your potatoes you can use it to eat anything that you may want to use uh, that you may need sauce for so uh, and the food the zucchini stew is also like I mentioned is very rich so now we're going to allow the onion to cook for like five minutes before adding any ingredients on there okay so now the my onion is really fried up you can see so now i can go ahead and add my tomatoes my chopped tomatoes and then i'm going to add my mini peppers which i sliced up and my spicy pepper so now that i have done added the the sliced tomatoes pepper and onion I'm going to add no magic cube. So I'm going to add two of this. Okay. I'm going to add some salt to taste. I'm going to add some curry powder. Just a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to add some black peppers. Stir that up. I'm going to cover this up and bring it to a boil. You leave this for like five minutes. Once it's cooked a little bit for five minutes, then I'm going to add my other ingredients to it. Okay, so this is the product. So right now we left it to cook for five minutes. That's the tomatoes, the diced tomatoes, your peppers, your onions, and your, you season them, let it Bring it to a boil for five minutes. So now I'm going to add my sauce, tomato sauce. If you look, if you notice, I did not add any water. You are not going to add any water while cooking your zucchini stew. So I've added my tomato sauce. I'm just going to stir this together. And then I'm going to bring this to a boil. Let it boil for like five minutes. And don't forget you are using medium heat to cook this. You don't want to overcook it. So I'm just going to bring this to a boil. After five minutes, we're going to add our other ingredients. We're going to then add our zucchini, our shrimps, and then some butter. Hello guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So right now what we need to do, we are going to add our zucchini. trying to stay together so now that I've added the zucchini I'm going to allow it to boil for like five minutes and when you're cooking your zucchini you don't want it to be too overcooked right so you don't want it to be too soggy so you make sure you keep an eye on it so I'm missing everything missing the tomatoes making sure everything is properly mixed up. Please go ahead and hit the notification bell, like my video, subscribe, 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 and share the video with your family and loved ones. 
like I mentioned earlier before this, uh, when I started this video, zucchini is a very rich source of vitamins and minerals and it's not difficult to cook, it's very easy. And you can use it to eat rice, you can also use it for your potato, sweet potato, or just regular uh, baked potato, you can add it as a side dish to eat anything you really feel like eating. So it's really a good source of um, vitamins and it's tasty. You can also use it for your potato chips. Like most people, they have, uh, they buy these sauce to eat their chips from stores. You can make your zucchini and eat that, use it to eat your chips as well. So I'm just going to, you're going to allow this sit for five minutes and then we will add our shrimps which is already washed we'll add a shrimp and allow it to cook for another five minutes and then we're done so again thank you for joining my video and for watching this video we we'll just allow this to cook for five minutes okay so now we're going to check our zucchini to see how it's cooking it's already five minutes so what I'm going to do next is to add my shrimps. Again, you don't add any water to your cooking. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to allow this boil. So I'll bring this to a boil for five minutes. So once it's done, I'm going to stay and let it sit for like two minutes. It should be ready by then. Again, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Also hit on the notification bell so each time I upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. And please share this video. Share this video with your loved ones, your friends, and like the video. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to check our meal. I'm going to stir it up. So that's the again you don't want this to be soggy okay so you really have to pay close attention to it you don't want to overcook the meal so it's not soggy okay see we never added water to this but look at the sauce okay see okay you can use this to eat anything you can use it for rice you can use it for potatoes baked potato can use it for tortillas or your potato chips and it smells really good and yummy now I'm hungry so I'm going to let this sit for another two minutes because if you look at if you look at my zucchini it's getting soft right so you don't want it to be soggy at all so I'm going to let this sit for another two minutes and it will be ready Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like my videos okay so now we're going to check our products this is the final product well cooked zucchini stew with shrimps so it's all cooked i'm ready to eat so i'm going to turn off my heat so like i mentioned you can use this for anything so i'm going to actually use this to eat some rice okay so at least you know you see how it looks like i already boiled some rice so i'm going to just take a little bit of rice it's my rice so i'm going to take some of the sauce this is the final product I really want to thank you guys for joining me today for tuning into my cooking channel the queen's cuisine cooking channel please don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you again and don't forget to leave a comment on the comment section like this video share this video i hope you all have a wonderful and a blessed day Mwah.